welcome back to my channel for finally a new video i am happy to finally do this one because i've been wanting to do it for a while but i've just got so behind on all the videos i wanted to do so this video will be all about my 35 color eyeshadow palettes that i got from amazon ebay aliexpress and dhgate so this one's going to be a bit on the long side so you may need a snack maybe two or three and a drink because it's going to be a long one. I'm going to do this in two parts because I anticipate that each video is going to be like 20 minutes. So sorry about that, y'all, but I do have like 15 to 20, 35 color eyeshadow palettes. It's that real. Also, make sure you go on my giveaway video and participate because it's ending on Sunday. And, you know, I am giving away a tart in the Huda from AliExpress or DHgate or whatever. So be sure to check in on that. And before I begin, just a little tidbit like I usually do, in the description box below, I will be putting markers for every eyeshadow palette in case you want to skip me talking or me going through certain ones you don't really care for. Just, you know, putting that out there. And before I begin, I just want to talk about my makeup real quick and just let you guys know. I got these glitter eye shadows, whatever, from AliExpress. It was like $6 for a pack of 30 which came like totally messy, but I was expecting that. Anyway, so I decided to make my own using like some vegetable glycerin primer and oil. I think I used castor oil or something like that. So this is the outcome of it, and I'm so happy. with. Look how beautiful they are. They just now finished drying not that long ago, and I used actually the orange on me today. So I used it on my lips, and I used it on my eyes too. And I use Jeffree Dominatrix as a liner. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys this. It's beautiful. And oh, you got to make your own glitter eyeshadows. I prefer to do these because I don't have to dip it in primer or anything. I just put it on my eyes. Like, I use my 3.5H palette I showed you guys as an orange. But on top, I just finger done. Actually, I didn't even do my finger. I just used a brush. So... It's glittery, it's beautiful, and I'm excited that it came out really good. If you guys are interested in me in doing a do-it-yourself video on that, I can. But I need to get another like eyeshadow thingies and all that good stuff from Allie. So I'll probably be doing that on the end of December if you guys decide that you want me to do a video on how to do it and how it looks and how it dries and blah, 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 blah. All that good stuff. Also, I get a full Scatified Mines. Mines was a um, eyeshadow, not even eyeshadow. It was one of those concealer eyeshadow. I keep saying eyeshadows. It was one of those concealer palettes from eBay that I never used, the really cheap ones. So all I did was I take out all the concealer and then I used alcohol to clean it and I repurposed it. So just let me know if you guys are interested in me doing a video on that. So thank you for watching. Sit back and relax because it's going to be long. Alright guys, just a quick little, you know, reminder. My kid is with me. It is just me and my kid. So, you know, may have to stop sometimes. So to start this off, I'm going to be talking about the boxes that it come in. For some reason, some people cares what the box look like. I don't. This is going in the trash or, well, me, recycled. So it doesn't really matter how the box looks. But this is an authentic morph palette. And we're just going to go down and compare all the boxes that I have. Well, not all of them because that's ridiculous, but a few different ones you can find. And this is what the back looks like. We're just going to take notice of how the barcode sticker is. And for me, it just says like a morph is right here and it has the sticker imprinted on the barcode. And then for this part, we're just going to pay attention to how the M and plant is. So this is an authentic one. This is the 350S that I have. The first one I'm going to show you is the 35F that is just a random brand. The boxes are much different. You know, the random brand has their, you know, logo on it. And the boxes are smaller for this one compared to that one. And it just has a sticker for 35F. That's all I'm going to talk about that one because it's not really a morph one of you. This one is the 35P I got in my group by. The most obvious difference is that this one says morph blushes here while the morph authentic one says morph brushes. Also, if you look at like the width and everything, the authentic one is bigger than this one. This is the 35P one, and as for the back, the barcode here has a sticker that says 35F, while this one here does not have a sticker, it's printed on there. As far as the Marth logo goes here, there's really not too much of a difference. The authentic one at the bottom is more of a deeper red, and this one is more of like a magenta red. But as far as like font goes, they're pretty like similar so this one is you know pretty close to the original if you ha held it like this in the light they look really close and you don't really notice a difference the o is just a little bit closer so this was the 35p one i got in my group buy you can find these on aliexpress ebay and dh gate these are typically the same ones you would find the next one i'm going to show you is my 35t one which i bought from aliexpress the logo says morphbrushes.com on the bottom 
The difference with this one is obvious is that it just has a sticker that says 35T, while this one, you know, is imprinted on the back. So we're going to look at the logo. And this is what it looks like here. And this one is more spot on than the original. It's really close to the authentic one in font and color. Like, when you're just looking at it, you really can't tell. But what is the biggest difference to tell on the packaging itself, if you care about the box, is that the authentic box has a bigger width than this one this one is bigger than that one so that's like the only difference the last one i'm going to show you is my 35w which i also got from aliexpress because the other boxes are the same this one is just again exactly like that one as far as the color on the m the only difference is that the sticker so how you know you got authentic one or the difference if you really care for it is that it has 35s printed on here it does not have a sticker the only one that's hard to tell is this part but you know the box is much thicker for the authentic one than that one so that's all the time i'm going to spend on the box because the box to me isn't important but i've noticed some people in the group wanted one with the logo and wanted one with the box saying everything correctly so that's why i just spent a little bit of time talking about this and i'm just going to go get started on some of these eyeshadow palettes okay, guys, so i'm going to show you first what the three the authentic one looks like and then we'll use that to compare everything else so this is what the outside morph logo looks like on it. This is what the back is. It just has a 350S sticker. This is what the lock looks like. And then on the back, it has just the five little circle thingies because some of them do look packaged differently. But sometimes I do wonder, you know, if some of the AliExpress ones are the same factory from Morph. Some are not. Some are their own brand, but they slap the Morph lo Morphe logo on there. Whatever. You know I'm going to say this wrong. It's about Morph, and I'm going to say Morph Morph whatever but we're going to use this to compare to see how close they are to see if it's made in the same factory or a different one so the first one i got to show you is going to be 35p this 35p is the one that's closer to the morph one i'm going to compare the other 35p to the this one you know in the last part of the video so this is what the logo looks like and this is what it looks like compared to the other one so this one's lighter this one's darker but i mean I'm trying to move it around so you can see it in different lighting when you put it like that it really looks the same the biggest difference is the authentic one at the top has a much bolder font for the other part than the morph but other than that you really can't see the difference so as far as the lock and hatch goes they are really pretty much the same so this is pretty close and then in the back part it is the same as well the only difference is that this i don't know you can't really see it but it's like little nails or whatever it's not really nails but the authentic morph has a circle nail this one has a line now, so they're not produced in the same factory because it's much different, but it is the same width. It's just that the authentic morph is just a little bit different, bigger, but you really can't tell the difference. As far as pan sizes is, this is what the purple one looks like, while the pan sizes on the other one are pretty much the same. This one's really, really close. Like, they're really, really close to pan sizes, because some I'm going to show you are not close at all. So that is all I will show you for the 35P one. If you want, I can swatch and see. Let's see. This is a shimmer palette. So I'll just choose one random color that would be close. Not really close, but just so you can see the quality-wise of it. This is a shadow from the 35P. And this one's going to be a shadow, shadow for the 35S. They're not really the same colors they're supposed to be, but just for the quality purpose of it. The first swatch I'm going to show you is of the 35 s palette from morph and this one's going to be for the 35p they're both shimmers and as you can see in my personal opinion the shimmers are the exact same together the exact same quality and pigmentation i know it's different colors but it is still good what would matter to me is the mask but since i have no matte in my shimmer palette i really couldn't help you with that so i'm sorry so that is all for the 35p palette i'm gonna go to the all next. right guys the 35p that i just showed you is produced in the same factor as the 35a and d i'm going to show you i won't spend too much time on how the packaging and design looks because they're all the same the pan sizes i just realized the ones from whoops the ones from dh gate are a bit bigger than the ones from more so you get a bigger pan size in here than the authentic one in Morph. So just for quality, showing you guys what it looks like, I'm just going to choose a brown from each palette. It's not going to look the same color. I just want to see how does it swatch quality-wise. So I am choosing a random shimmer from the 35S palette and then another one from the 35D one that I got. So this is what they look like on my hand. The one from here is from the 35D. This one's from the authentic Morph. And it swatches like that. And write that. So the authentic morph is here and the 35D is here. And the morph has more of a, like a shimmer to it. It's more buttery compared to that one. But I think they are just 
still the same quality wise the morph is just a little bit better it's like point five better compared to the three five d but you know just to show you guys some swatches so also this is what you know three five d looks like so also i'm going to show you the three five a real quick because same factory same company that i bought from this is what it looks like it's bigger than the authentic one and i'm just going to quickly grab a brown color to swatch from this and then this is what it looks like on my hand this is the 35a from dh gate then the next one i'm going to show you guys is just another different brown from the 35s so the top one is dh gate and then the bottom one is morph and once again you know morph is a little bit buttery but it's more noticeable in the brown here than this one they both look the same it's just like a 0.5 difference so really you're saving like ten dollars for a 0.5 difference i'm totally fine with that so overall the ones i got 35p 35a 35d i give them a 9 out of 10 of being really really close to authentic one because the quality is amazing for the shimmers of course and it looks spot on the pants are just a little bit different but everything else is really really close together so i'm going to grab some other ones that are complete like fails or some that are totally different and i'll be All right back. guys so the next eyeshadow palette i'm going to show you is my hands down most favorite eyeshadow palette in the world from anything i ever bought it's going to be my morph 35h this unicorn palette it's hard to find no one in china is producing this i'm begging my favorite seller to make this again because i want another one for the smash ones and everybody's looking for it so this is going to be the 35H that you know no one can find and this is the authentic 35S so just to compare the outside real quick they look spot on the only difference that I see is that this font is more spaced out than that one I don't know if you can tell that and the O looks different that's how you can see how it's spaced out other than that it's pretty close the sticker here is different this one's a bigger size than that one but they did the same color and everything as far as the dots and all once again well, no, this one's different. It's circle than a square like the other one. So this one is more closer to the authentic one than the other ones. And then it's the same width. The only noticeable difference is the authentic one has a square hatch. This one has a circle. So it's not made from the same company as Crown or Morphe that makes their palettes. The 35H is made completely from the Asian sellers. It's like a palette on its whole. It just has a Morphe logo on it. So this is the authentic one pan sizes just to give you guys a little refresher of what they look like. And then this is what the 35H, what do you call it, pan sizes is. Once again, this one are bigger than the authentic Morphe. Mm -hmm. It's not really a lot of difference big, bigger in it, but you can kind of see that it's bigger. So I'm going to choose a random color that's brown from here to swatch just to give a quick comparison to how the shimmers are here versus the morph. And then this one is the 35H. This one's the morph. And they're both shimmer palettes. So I'm going to choose another color. I'm going to do two more because this one's a shimmer and the other one isn't. So these two are from Morphe. And the, all the bottom ones are going to be from the authentic one. And then I will choose two more from the 35H palette here. So these three are from the 35H that's from AliExpress. And these three are from the authentic one. And this is the orange. I kind of swatched it off, so my bad. But I honestly like the quality in the 35H better than the Morph when I use it on my eyes, when I swatch it. They're both. As far as butteriness and, and quality are still good. I just prefer the 35H one. I'm just biased. I just like the 35H one much better. So that is the comparison of those two. I'm going to go grab another right, one. Guys, so the next one I'm going to show you is going to be the 35W for you. This is what it looks like on the outside and this is the inside. These are This is one of the ones that doesn't look close to the Mark one at all. So here you can see that it's totally purple compared to red. The O is about the same on here and then the sticker this one is black while the authentic one is gray and as for the lash the latches are about the same and as for the back part this one has a rectangle and this one the authentic one has these circle ones that's in the back and it has the same width and feel of a morphe one it's just the difference is that the logo is totally also they are not made in the same factory so i'm going to show you what the inside of the 35w looks like compared to the inside of how the 35s from Morph is and this one is about the same pan size it's just to me the Asians one always look always look better so I'm gonna choose two random colors to swatch this is the one for the 35w which feels completely buttery and this is a random one from the Morph it doesn't feel as buttery as the 35w which is weird but here's what the 
35W looks like, while this is the 35S from Mark. And they're pretty similar in colors. They're not supposed to be the same colors. Quality-wise, the shimmer from the 35W is better. But as a matte, just going to give you a quick little look at how a matte is. It's not that bad. This 35W one is really, really good. I like to use it. And I'm going to grab another uh, shadow right quick, one that's another similar one. Bottom is from the 35W, and this one is from the Authentic 35S. So I'm just going to swatch that here. That's 35S, and then that is 35W. These colors are really close together, so that's a perfect one to compare. They're really similar. The Morph one just looks a bit more like quality-wise better, I guess, but like a 0.35 difference is really not that bad. So these two are the Morph, and these, that's a matte. Those and those are shimmers from the 35W quality wise. I say get the 35W from Morphe. I don't really have the authentic one to compare these colors, but quality wise, it feels just the same as the Morphe one. So the 35W one is a yes to me on this one compared to the other ones I showed you. The other ones are like okay, but if you really wanted the same thing as a Morphe, you would go with that one instead. But for the money it costs, because these can range. $17 or less free shipping you you save like 10 to $15 buying these from Aliexpress So that's why I would say, you know, if you don't really care about like the cost or anything Then yeah, get the more if you want to save money have the same quality the 35w hands down is a good one to go So let's just continue okay, on so the next one I'm going to show you guys is a 35t This is the outside part for it. Sorry, it's a little dirty and this is the authentic one here on top and it looks really the same the logo is really spot on too and for the sticker it's different the font is more like washed out on the 35t and the sticker is bigger for here and then in the back the holes are different the not authentic one has like holes that's like a middle space in here while the authentic one doesn't have like any space on it and as far as the latch on here is they are both the same and it has the same feel of it so this is a really good close dupe of the Morphe but it's a little bit different packaging wise so this is what the 35T and it's basically like a few mattes but mainly shimmers so I can swatch a lot from here this is what the looks like as a whole to compare and I'm just gonna choose a lot of random ones that I think are like similar in color so this one is the Morph and this one's the 35T swatching it this a Morph one was a lot buttery this is what it looks like swatch let me wipe this off my hand from the other one so the first one I'm going to swatch is from the 35T and this one's going to be for the 35S. I tried to choose the ones that was most similar in color. The quality is just the same. It looks about the same quality wise. I'm going to choose another random color that I think is kind of close to each other. The first one is going to be from the 35T and this one's for the Morph. So this is the Morph and this is the 35T. And the Morph one, I mean the 35T one is a lot like brighter, but they're just the same quality wise as far as pigmentation goes. I'm going to choose one more color because this one has a lot of colors similar to each other. So the first one I swatched is 35T and this one is the 35W. They feel the exact same quality wise, buttery and everything. So the, this one is the 35T one I think and this one is the 35W. And that's what it is. Sorry, I kind of swatched that weird. But my overall personal opinion on these compared to each other is get the 35T. 35T hands down is the bomb. I'll just show you a matte one just to show you so you can know what that looks like. But I like it, especially comparing it to a Morph palette. Just filling it formula wise is how the shadows is. Go for it. You do save a lot of money and still get the same quality for 35T. So I'm going to go grab the next one and we're going right, to keep on So the next one I'm going to show you is an unbranded one. This is a 35C. This is the one you see the most on Alley and eBay. I don't have the 35K one, but I do have the 35C one. And just letting you guys know it's totally different. The rectangle here, there is no logo, but the latches that open them are the same here. It has the same feel, but the authentic morph, I don't know if you guys can tell, is a bit bigger and heavier than the 35C one that is not branded. So we're just going to see quality wise as the shadows compared to a authentic morph or not. And is this a waste of money even though it's cheaper. So this is what the pan sizes look like and comparing it to the authentic morph for, for as you know what the sizes look like. They look about the same. I don't know why this one always looks bigger for me. I don't know why. So I'm just going to just pick a few colors like usual that are somewhat similar to the morph shimmer. And I'm just going to swatch those for you guys. 
The top one is the 35C, the bottom one is the 35S Authentic. This one, of course, is more, shim more shimmerier and more buttery. So the top one is going to be the 35C, the bottom one is going to be the 35S as Authentic for more. And as you can see, they kind of the same quality. This one, once again, is like a 0.5 difference. You don't really notice it. I'm going to choose another color for you guys that are similar. So you can see this one is going to be for the 35C. This one's going to be for the 35S. And, you know, same amount. This one's just a little bit lighter than that one, so you can barely see it. And I would choose one more color if I can find one that's kind of similar to it. I can't see anything that's similar on this because these are very different eyeshadow palettes the bottom this one is the authentic this one is not and the authentic one looks and feels much more buttery than a 35c one but here is the 35c and here is the authentic more they're really similar in colors but you know they're a little bit different but the quality wise they are the same and thinking about how the 35c looks compared to more i say if you want it to just feel more buttery get the authentic one but quality wise and how it works on your eyes they play and feel just about the same i think it's a good purchase to buy on aliexpress but you know that's just me i'm cheap if i can save money i could because the only time i would buy a morphe one is just because if just to have one me personally because when i test these out and use these on my eyes they have good quality they blend well as far as the 35c i've used this one before also i've used these all and tried it before you know i made this video and i say the 35c is okay it's not the worst one i ever see received from them i think i like all my 35 color eyeshadows it's just these are like you know it's in the okay range it's good for the price this one was only seven dollars and it is unbranded so i'm gonna go grab the next one for you guys all right guys the next one i'm showing you is gonna be the last unbranded one this is the 35p from aliexpress it is not branded it has 35p on the bottom i'm not gonna really compare it to the authentic one as far as packaging is but we will take a look at the shadows themselves since the shadows are a bit different i'm not going to necessarily choose one that are close but just how the quality of it feels compared to each other so also before i do that i'm going to show you guys the two three five p differences because there's one that looks totally different and one that looks closer to the authentic one so these are what the two look compared to each other the top one is the branded one the top one is unbranded and as you can see, the colors are like slightly, well, not slightly, but they're totally different. One's like one more warmer, one is darker. And they both feel the same quality wise. But if I had to choose one just from me knowing what I would use, I would choose this one I'm talking about now, the unbranded one, because I love it. You guys know I use it all the time. I put it in my top 10 favorites. It's a beautiful palette that feels buttery. It looks good on me. And it's just, it's gorgeous. So this is what it looks like compares to an authentic morph as far as pan sizes go they are about the same it's not too big too small or anything like that i will try to ch there's only like one color that is somewhat close but it's not even close because one is like a purple palette and the other is more of a you know shimmer 350 original one so this is going to be from the authentic morph one and then i will get one from the this is what it looks like that's one that's two and you know they're the most similar colors you will find on the palette and then i'm just going to choose the most buttery ones i can find on the 35p one and the most buttery one i can find on the shimmer one so this is what they all look like on my hand they all look about the same quality wise because i'm just comparing the quality these are all the 35p shimmers that are the most buttery and this is the 35s so as you can see the one from this 35p quality wise it is the exact same if you were thinking about getting this one get it girl because it is beautiful it is gorgeous i can't talk about this too much this is like my favorite hand i should have palette like hands on one of them anyways because i have too many to choose one but i just thought i would share that with you guys and compare it to the other one because the other one does look different out of all of them this is going to be rather my favorite so i'm going to go grab the last three we're almost done right, the next one i'm going to show you are different brands that you can find on aliexpress well this one is the next two you can find on amazon i won't really compare it to the packaging of morph just the quality of it to see which one's better the first one is this brand is mene or whatever they are the 35f that i received on aliexpress this is the sticker it is different from the authentic one it's a totally different palette because it's more warmer more oranger i like this one because it's all the colors i love and use you saw me use it in my last tutorial and it would be pretty up there in my top 10 favorites if i would redo that again so just to let you guys know what this one looks like and i'm going to choose similar colors from the 350s mark 
to show and compare you just to see the quality of it and things of that nature. So I am gonna, probably going to choose all the oranges because these two are like nothing but oranges. So this is the 35F palette that you can see from AliExpress. That's the orange swatch. And this one's the orange from the 350S. They're all different. So I'm just going to choose like another one from the 350. And then the last one I'm going to choose is going to be the next orange that is in the fall. So these two are the authentic one. And these two are from the 35F AliExpress. They are totally different. The one from Morph is going to be more buttery. So these are the two authentic 350S Morph. And I'm sorry I did that all weird. But that's what they look like swatch. And then these are going to be from the 35F. And just going based on swatches, I kind of like the 35F better because it's more pigmented. But they both feel the same quality wise. They are really good. So I would just, my opinion on this is that you should get both of the 35Fs, the Morph and the, um, this one from AliExpress because they have different colors. I personally, at first I was debating on getting a 35F, but I don't really want it anymore because I like how this one is. I'm just going to choose like another random color. This is a gold that you can find just from the 35S. And I'll just choose probably not really a gold from here because it's not really a gold, but that's from the authentic one. So me personally, this one is a much better quality than the 35F one. So two more to two more down to go and we're almost done all right so the next two i'm gonna show you guys i got off amazon this little thing is like bothering me sorry let me fix the camera right quick anyway so it's called from one is from the bella i don't know if i showed you guys this before or not and the other is from the beauty box i like the Bella one simply because it's vegan this one is so much thicker than this one and they're both totally different from more if they're their own brands they don't get the same packaging from the people that make crown because it's different the one from Babella comes with two eyeshadow thingies and a mirror. And this is the colors that it's from. <coughs> Excuse me. I got this one because it was a little bit different. It had different colors. So I'm just going to like swatch two randomly here. I didn't know I still had that. My bad, y'all. So this is the green matte and this is a green shimmer. Sorry I did that all weird. But that's how that one looks. And then it has a blue matte. So I'm going to show you that one. And it completely doesn't come up. So, womp womp. I'm not really liking the blue matte on that one. And then I would do three more shimmer colors just to see quality wise on this. I like the brand because they're vegan. But I'm not really feeling the matte eyeshadows to be honest. It's too like sheer and chalky and not as buttery as any of the other palettes I showed you. Shimmer wise they're gorgeous. I'm going to just re-swatch it again just so you guys can see. The shimmers are really, really good. It's just the matte ones I'm not really impressed with because there's like other eyeshadow palettes with these same colors such as the BH Cosmetics, Brazil, and another Morph like 35D and 35A. The shimmers are good. That yellow is really good for a matte. All of the rest that are mattes, I'm not really a fan of, especially that blue I showed you. So this one would probably get like a 6 out of 10 for me because I'm not impressed with this one i just wanted to like this one because it was vegan but after swatching all my other ones and knowing that i never use that one i give it like a 7 out of 10. the next one i'm going to show you is the beauty box one this is from amazon as well i chose these two because it's free two-day shipping they were about 16 to 17 dollars so the same you get from aliexpress but it comes much quicker this one is the three five well it's not really three five anything it just says glow shimmer collection I love these colors and let's just see how the pigmentation is compared to a Morph. So I'm just going to choose two random colors and two random colors from the Morph. These two are from the Morph Authentic. These two are from the ones from Al uh, Amazon. The Morph looks a little bit buttery one but this one looks good too. So this is the one from the Beauty Box. Sorry my kid just dropped the remote. And this one is the one from the Amazon. The Amazon one actually looks really, really good compared to the Morph. I'm really, really impressed. I'm going to swatch some more. I haven't used this eyeshadow palette yet, so that's why I'm just like, whoa. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the Amazon one. There's a random matte here. It's probably not. Yeah, I don't like... I only like a few ever mattes. That one's really good. That I look in eyeshadow palettes and the mattes. Ugh. But it only has like three mattes in the whole palette. If you ever want one that's a 35 color eyeshadow palette that's quick to you, comes in two days, you can get free prime easily. I would hands down get this one. It is gorgeous. It is the Glow Shimmer Collection and I would recommend that one more than the Babella one. Sadly, the Babella has more like 
interesting colors that you could probably use it's just the pigmentation on it i don't like it compared to this one so that is gonna be it i think right, guys turns out i wasn't done i don't know how i forgot one of my most favorite eyeshadow palettes so the one i'm gonna show you is gonna be the delancey it is not a replica or anything it is their own brand they have more makeup this is the dupe to the 350 original and I'm going to put these side by side with the 350S because the 350S is just a shimmer version of the 350. So I'm going to put these together and when you look at it, you'll be able to see that the shades are like totally similar. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but they're really, really similar. So I can compare and swatch these. I think this is just worth the money because it's $11 or $13 with shipping. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's like an orange that finally shows up on my skin tone because for some reason, matte oranges are not. So I'm going to do the matte right quick just so you guys can... Oh, I already did that, but whatever. This is an orange here, and then this is another orange matte. Like, the matte is just... These are one of the best mattes than all the other ones I showed you. So I am going to show you all of the similar colors, quote, quote, that comes in both of these. This one is for the Delancey. This is for the Authentic 35S. Delancey 35S. As you can see, the shades are totally different. And then I'm going to do the orange from the Delancey one. And then this one's from the 35S. So Delancey 35S. Different shades, but they're similar in quality. Then I'm going to do 35S and another Delancey. Delancey 35S. Sorry, I didn't mean to swatch that 35S so bad. But those two shades are the same quality. And then I will do, I guess, one more. I'm trying to find one that is, like, super similar. I think these are the most similar colors. Probably not because they're all different. So this is going to be 35S, and that's the Delancey. I don't know if you guys can see. But they are different shades, but, like, in the same family. Quality-wise, I think they're both the same. I like the Delancey one personally. I've used it more than the 35S. I only use the 35S twice out of like everything, which is I know sad. But I mean, it is what it is. I haven't used the 35S too too much, but this Delancey one, I give it props. It's more smaller than any of the palettes I've mentioned, but it's just the best pigmentation, the best quality and feeling of butteriness. I've had this for about three months by now and I used it so much and it's still here. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I decided to put it all in one video because it was like, oh okay, it's not that bad. Two minutes per palette is what I did and I noticed, oh okay, I still have enough room to do more. So maybe one 30 minute video instead of two 20 minute videos was good. So let me know, did you like this? Give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. I tried to show you guys all of the different 35 color you can get from DHG, Amazon, eBay, and AliExpress just to let you guys know what the quality is compared to an authentic Mor Morphe. Is it worth the money to just buy one from morphe or aliexpress is it better and good quality when you buy a cheaper one and things of that nature so i hope this helped you guys decide which eyeshadow palette you would like if you really need to get a morphe one or if the cheaper one even good quality so thank you guys for watching have a good day let me know how this video was i really appreciate your feedback and i read all the comments thank you guys have an awesome day night wherever you are